this is a Lockthon Plays, and I am here to do the continuing series of videos on the visages that you can buy with your Quicksilver. This will allow you to see if you want to spend your hard-earned Quicksilver on the visage, or maybe wait for another one. The Persis visage just unlocked, and I just picked it up. Um, so I would like to demonstrate this. This is uh, one that I've been looking forward to because it's uh, fairly alien looking and uh, it's not uh, like the Groot one, the Groot, the, the uh, tree-headed one was pretty popular because people well wanted to look like Groot from uh, Gal Guardians of the Galaxy. But this one is pretty unique and, uh, and I've been looking forward to it. Anyway, as all of these uh, visages require you have to be a traveler in, in order to use these and of course this is the head and I haven't bought very many of them on this particular save and so this one is head number 12 if you've bought a bunch of them it might be head 16 or 17 or something like that so here we go okay so we have giant teeth we have uh, a big jaw some scales necks and a hat and this guy, this one already has silver eyes. Um, it looks like the eyes, let's just go through the options here. These are almost always the same. Yeah, eyes are the eyes number zero are the black orb. Eyes number one are fairly human looking or at least mammal looking. Uh, eyes two have a horizontal pupil. Eye three uh, is a little bit androidy in that it has a line, a horizontal line through the iris with a darker color on top and a lighter color on the bottom. I4 is a vertical pupil and I5 is the bug eye. I'm going to set that as blue just to make it distinctive. You usually set the eye color with a secondary color, although not always. There are a few exceptions to that. So here on Marking Zero, our primary color looks like it sets the entire head. That's not all that surprising. The secondary color, as we already noted, uh, sets the eye color. And then the accent color, does the accent color do anything that we notice? Quite often, the accent color on marking zero is hard to spot. Either it doesn't do anything, or it only does something that you can see after you've switched to different markings. So let's switch over to markings one. Okay, so here we have uh, the color divided into the jaw and nose area, and then the back area. So uh, here the primary color sets the jaw. I kind of like it black. Let's set it as a dark red. The secondary color, again, is the eye, and it looks like it's only setting the eye, but the accent color here is setting the back of of the head and the neck. I quite like that. And also includes the upper part of the eye ridge. Okay, so let's go to markings 2. Okay, what happens here? Let's put our primary color. Uh, that's the lower jaw and the neck. And it looks like uh, the accent color is just the eye ridge and nothing else. Is that right? Set it green. Hmm. Okay, let's make the primary color. This is interesting. It's sort of a mix. Oh wait, maybe it's just the the very back. Yeah, the stripe on the top of the head, which is mostly covered by the hat, is set by the primary color. And then the accent color, let's switch it to black, sets the rest of the head. And it's kind of uh, influenced by the primary color say influence. Let's switch it to green. Yeah. It's influenced by the primary color. We haven't seen that all that much before. And of course the secondary color is is the eye. Okay, so markings three. Let's change the primary to dark red again. Okay, ooh, interesting. Here, almost the entire head is set by the primary color secondary color is again, as always, the eye. The accent color is the teeth. Arr, that's that's kind of fun. <laughs> I like that quite a bit. Alright. 
So, I like to then run over to the NPC that Hello Games has set up with uh, this head to see what they did with it. And uh, in this case, it's the Exo Craft Vendor Persis. Looks like we've got some colored teeth and a colored jaw and a colored head. So what, that's markings too, I think? And they're in Corvax armor. Or is that... yeah. Corvax armor. The other reason I, I like to come over here and look at the NPCs is it's easier to get a good picture, a, a good uh, view of the back of the head. I'm going to switch over to camera here. Sorry, it's going to get jerky here. I kind of wish we could change the hat color, but I think you're stuck with some kind of leather beanie with a symbol on the side. And right now my uh, my video card is kind of freaking out. That's why the eye disappeared. That looks kind of bizarre, but don't worry about it. It won't look like that when we come back. There. Now they have eyes again. So, that's the Persis visage. Huh. Very interesting. I love that you can change the color of, of the teeth in, in, independently on settings 3. That's a lot of fun. Anyway, so this is... Oh, I don't even remember what week this is, what number head this is. 9? 10? Something like that? Uh... And, uh... Yeah, that's uh, pretty imposing. I would not want to meet this particular set of teeth in the dark alley. So, I hope this was useful. I hope this lets you decide whether you want to spend your Quicksilver on this visage or not. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you very much.